everyone so now we are going to do the remaining part i hope you already watch our videos we are doing this uh, series like before we do some configuration and we check everything is working perfectly but that time we did not use any vlan so now what we are saying this one is the configuration this is the router r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r4 just we assign the ip address enable the ospf assign the ip address to the machine and then it start working now what we need to do here we need to create the vlan okay then do inter vlan and then enable the what we can say dscp server so we can get the ip from the dscp server this is our plan so now we need to modify this one so what i will do first of all let's start from the switch as per our student request we are making a small small video for this one like 8 8 minute so no worries okay try to watch maybe this project will have more videos 8 8 minutes video will be there okay so let me start from this switch we will start first so what i will do here i will take this i will say this is a vlan 10 okay and then i will say this is a vlan 20 you can use same color different color anything vlan 10 20 i told and then i can say this is a vlan 30 okay and then what we have we will take Uh, let's see this one vlan 40 and here we can say like uh, vlan 50 and here 50 means then 60 like this we can say just i am differentiating each and everything we will do step by step okay because some pressure is also there 70 and then we can say this will be 80 so total we are going to use 80 vlans that is 10 20 30 like that so i will put here label that is this is a vlan 10 okay and name you can give anything like i am giving it then we can say this is a vlan 20 name you can give like uh, hr then this is a vlan 30 name you can give like it hr sales okay then you can give like vlan 40 name like uh, <coughs> it hr sales then marketing anything you can give okay just i am putting here different and this is a vlan 50 we can say name i can give like uh, what we can give different department name like project department there is a department who will handle the projects 50 then we can say vlan 60 name we can give engineering department or anything we can give name up to you whatever you need to give okay name you can give anything we give it hr sales marketing project and we can say like uh, accounts okay 60 vlan we finish now we need 70 and 80 so here this will be vlan 70 we can give here name <coughs> sorry name like uh, we will say like uh, waters uh, others department we have we have a help desk or we can give medical or anything we can give whatever you want just we need to differentiate that's why i'm creating different department maybe we can say marketing we already taken right marketing or hr it sales logistic you have you can give logistic anything we can keep or we can say 
I can give like laptop maybe they will a laptop supplier or anything we can say I am giving something just we need ATV land so I am giving ATV land sales team we have marketing HR finance finance we did not give right so you can give anything so now what I am saying I am saying we have the this many VLAN so now we need to create the VLAN and then we need to assign the IP also so IP schema we will use like 10 dot something for VLAN 10 20 dot something 30 dot something 40 dot something 50 dot something 60 dot something 70 80 like that so let me do the configuration I will say this is a switch one okay switch one configuration enable config t host name sw1 okay then we can write like uh, switch one this is a switch one so here you need to vlan vlan 10 and vlan i can say like vlan 10 name as i told it then vlan 20 name i can say hr and then we need to put the interface so interface f0 by 1 this interface we will say this one you need to put as a trunk okay this one f0 by 1 so we will write switch port mode trunk what else now you need to see 2 and 3 this to be this two interface we should move in vlan 10 so i will write interface range okay interface range f0 dash 2 dash 3 then we can write switch port mode axis switch port axis vlan which vlan this one 10 <coughs> okay so this finish now we need to do this one so what we can say i will take this i will make this this one 5 and here 4 and 5 4 and 5 this should be VLAN 20 any confusion see this is simple just put this to interface in VLAN 10 put this to interface in VLAN 20 and here you can say like uh, this is trunk okay I will copy this I will paste this no confusion right this is simple only just go here and paste here so now we done the switch one configuration now you can save also and you can check here you can write here like show vlan brief and these two ports are in that vlan and you can write show interface trunk so you have the trunk interface also so this one is good switch one configuration is done so we need to do like this for all the switches so that one we are going to continue in our next video as this video is already crossed the 8 minute more than 8 minutes so we will do that in our next video we need to do same thing here 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 then i will remove this ip i will add the sub interface and we will do inter vlan then i will configure dscp and we will do the ospf okay we will see that in our next video